See if the Dodgers can make some magic here in the ninth inning. Down three to two. And as good as Griffin Jacks has been, Yohan Duran has had the monopoly on the ninth inning. Jacks does not have a save this year. 15 for his career. But looking for his first one this season. And his fifth try. He's 0 for 4 in save situations. Tommy Edmond will lead things off. And then Dave Roberts is going to pinch hit for James Altman with Michael Conforto. Before it turns around to the top in Mookie Betts. Edmund two for three. One ball, no strikes. Lead in the majors and comeback wins this year. Those have been few and far between lately, though. One and one. Dodgers got a run in the first on Otani's home run. Twins tied it on a Lewis home run in the third. L.A. retook the lead in the seventh, only to see it disappear in the eighth. Edmund flips one to left center field. Bader's got it. One gone in the ninth. Jax's changeup took the sting out of that swing. It's the best swing and miss changeup in the league. He's got the best swing and miss sweeper in the league as well. Conforto to pinch hit for Outman. Strokes one up the middle that's caught by Lee. Shortstop is positioned right behind the bag. Conforto hit it on the screws, but into the second out. Michael's expected batting average is better. His, his numbers are bad, but boy, expected should be higher. Actual is lower. He's hit the ball hard a lot this year. Up to bats, try to keep their hope. Alive. Otani waits on deck. Mookie's 0 for 4 today. 0 for his last 10. One on one. This is a perfect setup for a walk off. Mookie can get on. Shohei has really understood the moment since putting on the Dodger uniform. That's today is twice fly to right. The one ball that he pulled was on the ground to short. Check swing. No swing. Two and two. Real good take. Competitive pitch just off the edge. Mookie was strong enough to hold up. On a 2-2 pitch, Betts grounds it foul. That was one to hit right there. Sweeper backed up, gave him something middle in. Jax was going to throw a better one than the last one, and it slipped out. Tapper, left side. He's got a shot. Here's the throw. Not in time. Shohei Otani gets his chance. Twins went ahead on a ball hit about this velocity, and now the Dodgers have a chance on an infield signal. Made for the movie, finish. Asturi Ruiz is the on-deck hitter.
Having pinch run for Teoscar Hernandez. If ever there's a time to intentionally walk the tying run into scoring position and the winning run on base, it's now. And they will. They're putting him on. Barry Bonds treatment. Rocco Baudelli saying, hey, I'm not going after Otani. If, if Stewie Ruiz beats us, it just wasn't meant to be today. Yeah. Would I rather face the second coming of Babe Ruth or a Stewie Ruiz? I think it's the right call. Ruiz in the game is a pinch runner at the plate. Four for 16 as a Dodger with a home run. He does have two walk-off hits in his career. Back with the A's as a rookie in 2023. As has been the case in this really rough month, they continue to do it fighting. There's been very little rollover. It's not been pretty, but it's also not been easy on the opponent to put him away. That's at second the tying run. Otani at first the winning run. Can Asturi Ruiz be the guy to get him off of the deck? In the dirt for ball one. The infield defense like Mookie Betts did. The wheels will play. He doesn't get it to the outfield grass and it's on the infield grass. They're going to have to deal with his speed. Ruiz takes ball two. Freddie Freeman after him. Infield hit from Mookie Betts with the Dodgers down to their last strike. Freeman put on intentionally. And now Jax falls behind the light hitting Ruiz 2-0. The pitch. Ball three. Like the strategy of walking Otani, Ruiz has to take at least two pitches. You have to get Freeman to the plate if either one of these next two are a ball. Taken again. I am. If he's doing it, he's doing it on his own. He didn't look down at anybody for any direction. 3 1 pitch. Ball four to load the bases for Freeman. Even though there's a walk before him, Freddie will be ready to. Swing on the very first pitch if he likes it. Where have we seen that before? Took a strike. him backwards with the fastball the outstanding change up the outstanding sweeper and Freddie hasn't seen either one Dodgers left him loaded in the seventh and the eighth loaded in the ninth oh two in the dirt <laughs> if it's an off-speed pitch in the strike zone for He's probably going to pull it. If it's a fastball, you could drive a Mack truck over on the left side of the infield. You could drive it through that hole. On one, two. Freddie Freeman sits it foul. Late on 90. 
58 is on time because that gives him a chance at Jax's two best pitches. The change up in the sweeper. That's the third, the tying run. Otani at second, the winning run. One, two. Freeman lines the ball to left field. Bader can't get it. And the Dodgers win. Shades of October in July. Freddie Freeman, the hero. Down to their last breath. Hitter after hitter after hitter after hitter. Four consecutive two-out base runners. And the Dodgers steal a win in the bottom of the ninth to take the series. A base hit and a walk that covers a multitude of sins. They tried to go up and beat him with another fast ball. They left it down. And Freddie with his adjustment. Adjustment of a little bit more weight on the front side. Hits a line drive that wins the game by inches. Bader that close. Boy, the game.